Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at more wonderful, wonderful news coming out of Japan. Now, I've been telling you lately about how Japanese products are more available and easier to find and all of that. But there is more news. I thought the other day I, I told you what you need to know, but no, ladies and gentlemen, there is more news. And I love it. Do, do you want to know what's even better? Do you want to know what's even better? Mask of Change is not being sold by a lottery at the Pokemon Center. Now, online, as in the Pokemon Center online, I have entered a lottery for Mask of Change. So there might still be an online lottery. We'll have to confirm that in a couple of weeks when the set releases for good. Well, like 11 days. But in Pokemon Centers, it is not being sold by a lottery. And this is just the best news. Because this is even more proof. If anyone needed, the things are just back. It's been a while since the Pokemon TCG has really been available in Japan. Things have been getting better for a little while now, but now we get news that it's not even being sold by a lottery over at the Pokemon centers. I mean, come on, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, shout out to Pokecart underscore new underscore card for sharing the news with us. But of course, they have linked us to Pokemon Voice. Pokemon Voice is a website that shares news about the Pokemon TCG. And if I show you the actual Google translated version of the news, it says, The following products released on Friday, April 26, 2024, will be on general sale from the day of release. There will be no advanced lottery. And then it's Scarlet and Violet 6 Mask of Change. I just love this. Some stores may change their hours or restrict admission. Blah, 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 blah. Point is, it is actually happening that they've gotten rid of the lottery. And bearing in mind, it's not that long ago since Pokemon literally came out and told stores, please stop opening at midnight. It's, it's too much. Now, I don't think midnight opening is going to come back anytime soon. I still think there could be crushes, especially for ridiculously popular products. But the point is, we finally reached a stage, and it's taken so long to get here, where on the release date of a set, you, you don't need to try and figure out the lottery or any of that, because the other thing is, it's a lottery by store. So if, if you lived in Tokyo, for instance, you might be entering the lottery at Skytree, but then also entering the lottery in Shibuya, and also entering the lottery at Mega Tokyo, and there are a couple others as well, just to try and have some hope of getting hold of some cards and now you you can just go and pick it up on release date because it's just there and i cannot express how wonderful this is i'm not saying this is going to be the same for every set moving forward the release we saw didn't say sets will no longer be sold via a lottery but it does say that this set will not be sold by a lottery. What about the next 151? Well, there's a question, isn't it? Because 151 was the last set over in Japan that basically went dumb. 151 was a set where it's just impossible to find, still being sold for quite a lot. And we, we've heard rumors of a restock coming, but the restock has not come yet. We don't actually have the restock on the horizon. Now, for what it's worth, I don't think there is going to be a lottery. I don't think lotteries are coming. I think there are going to... I'd probably put something on the thumbnail like no more lotteries. Because I do believe that the lotteries are done. But I cannot actually tell you for certain. The thing is, the last special set in Japan wasn't 151. The last special set in Japan was Shiny Treasure ZX. Roughly equivalent to our... Pound A and Fates. And that is just available. It's on the Pokemon Center online. It's been there for honestly a couple of weeks at this stage. And it seems to show no sign of going away. Like I told you the other day that there were a number of sets that were available on the Pokemon Center online. They're all still there. 
Like, I can go right now and buy two boxes of Shiny Treasures EX. It is just in stock on the Pokemon Center online. And it's not limited to certain numbers of people. It's not a lottery sale or anything like that. It is limited to two boxes. But this was the last special set in Japan. And not only is it available, but it's available widely online for anyone. And it's honestly been there for a few weeks at this stage. And this tells us one of two things, which both lead us to the same result. Either... They've got so much stock that they're just not running out because there's enough for everybody. Or people have kind of had their fill and it's still in stock because they've had enough for everybody. Either way, we end up at the same place. Pokemon have done such a gosh darn good job of making this available. It's just sitting there chilling. And this is beyond awesome uh for what it's worth on the pokemon center online right now yes that is available but so is the most recent set crimson haze and the last double set cyber judge and wild force and the double set before that future flash and ancient raw which it well it went future flash and ancient raw then we got Shiny Treasures EX, then we got Cyber Judge and Wild Force, then we got Crimson Haze, and next we're getting Mask of Change. And incidentally, I've told you before, I don't expect to win the online lottery for Mask of Change. I don't think that's going to happen. However, I don't care anymore. Because I feel extremely confident that just like with Crimson Haze, it's going to be available on release day. I'm going to wake up on Friday the 26th of April... I'm going to go to PokemonCenter-Online.com. I'm not going to go there at like 2 in the morning when it drops UK time. I'm going to wait. I feel good. And I'm going to casually go on there in the morning and I'm going to order a couple of boxes. And I do feel confident it's going to be limited to two boxes per person. And I do know I'm not going to get any more than that. But I feel confident I'll get that much. Crimson Haze was limited to two. I see no reason this wouldn't be either. And there's only really one more part to the puzzle. Like... It's the last, oh goodness, I mean, if we count double sets as one, the last four sets, soon to be five, are just readily available. And the upcoming set, you don't need a lottery for the Pokemon Center. What about the last few sets at the Pokemon Center? Are they readily available in store or is it just online? Well... The lovely Brace Gaming is in Japan right now and making me so jealous it hurts my insides a little bit. But they went and posted this a couple of days ago, which honestly answers my question and stops me having to do any digging. It's showing the purchase limits in one of the Pokemon centers, and you'll notice the last six sets on there. Remember, double sets. And for the last two double sets and Crimson Haze, limited to two box per person per day. And Shiny Treasures EX limited to two boxes per person per day. Which I'm pretty sure means we, we made it. Like, until now I've been showing you that they're on stock on the Pokemon Center online, and that's lovely. But now we know that the next set isn't even going to be done by a lottery. And we know that they're just in stock in Pokemon Centers. And I think I've mentioned in videos, I've booked to go back to Japan in August. I am going to be going to the World Championships in Hawaii, obviously. No matter how I go, I'm, I'm definitely going to be going. So I've just gone and booked my flight, obviously. And if I'm flying all the way to Hawaii, I'm like, mate, might as well go via Japan on the way. So I've booked a couple of days in Tokyo and I feel very good about that. And I think, like, when I was in Japan last year, this was August 2023, I bought every pack of pokemon cards i was allowed to buy because it was limited to five packs of each set they had in stock which wasn't that much most times i was getting five or ten packs and you had to go in the morning like when i went to hakata pokemon center literally everyone in line was buying the maximum amount of cards and they sold out within like an hour and then they were gone that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I am not going to rock up to the Pokemon Center in Japan and buy 12 boxes of cards. I would love to, but the reality is I'm only missing like half a dozen cards or less from each of those sets other than Shiny Treasures EX. So I really don't need to go and buy them all. But how wonderful is that? That they're just going to be there. 
Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Right, that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me if you're surprised. Tell me if you think this is going to be around forever. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Jelena Renji, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.